All right, today's video is going to be on a break-in burn for Hopsco air stove. And we recommend before you hook up the hot air duct uh, going into the house that you do a break-in burn. And the reason for this is these furnaces are made out of steel and it, during the production there's oil and stuff induced into the cutting and there's welding and all that puts off products that when you initially burn this stove it's going to smell so we want you to blow that smell outside before you hook your duct work up so that's the purpose uh, of what we're doing here it's about a two hour process to season this stove and we're going to try to condense this into about a five minute video so I have the uh, stove set up with uh, a small fire inside and as you can see in there, there's, there's not a lot of wood. I have two pieces on uh, the outside, some kindling in between those, and three pieces on the outside. Uh, <clears throat> I usually use old fire or old uh, phone books for my paper to start a fire with. And one of the things that I like to do when I pull that out, I like to look and see what page I'm burning and uh, wow today I pulled out uh, Hopsco came up on my uh, phone book and uh, there we have Hopsco and their 800 number 866-878-4922 and that's that's what uh, I'm gonna light the fire with today and uh, so, as I burn Hopsco's uh, 800 number, we'll see, usually, I can do this in one match. And I kind of pride myself, I got about 30 years in uh, wood heat, and I kind of pride myself in the fact that you ought to be able to light a fire with one match, so hopefully, while I'm recording this that won't let me down so I got that going right now uh, and I've got a thermostat set up outside here to simulate what you'd have in the house and I just turned the blower motor on can you see that fire pick up as the blower motor comes on and I'm gonna close this door a little bit for a minute here to let that blower motor get its full effect and while we do that I want to I want to go to uh, here's the thermostat that we send uh, typically with that stove we have a couple different ones uh, this thermostat is a Honeywell Pro 1000 and as you can see we've got uh, 74 degrees as the outside air temperature uh, right now and one of the things with this uh, thermostat is you got to make sure that you hook it up correctly and there's little terminals inside that thermostat and for heat you want to make sure you're connected to the R and the W terminals and on the relay in the stove you're hooked up to the to the green and the red and another thing with this stove or with this thermostat you gotta make sure there's some directions that come with it and uh, on page five you gotta make sure you go through the programming and on step five of that programming, you got to make sure you have the compressor uh, protector in the off mode. Otherwise, when the house calls for heat on the thermostat, you won't uh, be able to turn that induction fan on for five minutes, and you don't want that. When this thermostat, when this thermostat reaches uh, the temperature to turn on that brings the induction fan on and that starts the fire uh, gives 
the fire oxygen in the stove and as the stove builds up to temperature the temperature in the air duct that surrounds the stove so you got your firebox in here around the outside is an air chamber and that's where our blower fan blows air through when that blower uh, fan reaches so is at 130 degrees that fan will come on blow the hot air into your house so we got a couple minutes here on this uh, let's see where we're at look like look like I got it with one match uh, we got fire going on in there uh, we're starting to build up a draft up that chimney as this chimney on this one uh, is 12 feet high so it takes a little bit to warm that chimney up and as that chimney warms up that's how you create a draft so that helps the induction fan draw the air through the stove heat it up so right now we're we're doing a break and run we got a small fire in there we're gonna let this stove uh, get up to temperature and this particular stove is set that air chamber uh, fan is set to come on at 130 degrees and go back off at 100 degrees. So it's going to take probably five minutes for this to uh, build up to temp. And I just want to show you, uh, one, we got a fire going on in here. And then I want to show you, this is a pretty clean burning unit. I want to go up to the exhaust here if we can. Let me see if I can get that top of that exhaust. Uh, and you can look up there. That unit is operating right now. And when that induction fan's on, this is a real clean burn unit. The only time you get smoke out of this thing is at the end of the fire cycle when the induction fan shuts down because you're starving the fire for air and at the beginning uh, when the induction fan comes back on and you're you're just starting the fire up because both conditions you don't have enough oxygen so that's uh, that's where we're at with the with the burn on this this is about a two-hour process but it it can get pretty boring uh, just running a video so I wanted to show you that we got a fire going on in here it's pretty clean burning uh, inside there uh, one of the things when you open the door you want to pause here at this stage that helps increase the draft so any smoke will go out the, the stack not come out towards you so right now uh, we got this unit running if, if you look down in the ash drawer uh, you can see where we've got coals working their way down there and uh, that whole unit is creating heat in there I'm going to close that ash drawer back up I'm going to open the top drawer up and I'm going to show you what we mean when we say uh, we want you to shake the, the grates. These grates, there's space in between the two grates and if you shake them back and forth as you get coals and uh, byproducts from the wood burning they'll build up in those grates. So if you put this tool that we send with the unit in between there, shake these grates, it helps shake the stuff down into the uh, ash area down below. So if you get an induction problem, uh, it could be because that's getting blocked there. You need to shake your grate so that we can get oxygen back up to the fire. As you can see, we got a with that one match, uh, we got a pretty nice fire going here. As I said, this is this is about a two-hour process to season this stove, and there's no sense in me uh, going through 
two hours I'm trying to make this a five minute video and and I, I'm already ten minutes into it so we'll leave it at that that's about the start of the of the fire as it it starts getting uh, down we're gonna add more wood to it and we'll try to pick up at that point 